Thank you, Sandy. That's She's my camera person today. All right, now I've been getting the same question over and over again, and I know I've got hundreds of videos, so if you're newer, haven't been with me all along, you maybe have not found this video. So I'm going to do it again because this is very, very important in our conversations. Okay, so people are wanting to know if they're starseed, Okay, what kind of alien starseed are they? Well, you're not an alien starseed. If you're starseed, you are from outside this game altogether. Now, you think, most people think, that when I say that, I mean outside of Earth, Gaia's game. That's not what I mean. So let's back up on what the game is. When I say the game, this is what I am talking about. Long time ago, way, way, way back machine. We're going to go way back. There was a creator, the creator of this game. The creator is not a separate god. This god is not better than you. He is just like you. You have created games this big and much bigger. What I'm getting ready to describe is actually out on the other side, outside the game, this is actually considered a pretty small game. Uh, if there was such a thing as time and space, which there isn't, but I have to speak in linear time space words because you're in linear time space so I will use linear time space words even though they are not accurate outside this game very few games use linear time space but because this game goes dense instead of what you would consider bigger my games I prefer are bigger and they don't involve time space at all but this game is very dense, therefore it incorporates time-space. Okay, and that's a whole nother video, just go with me on this. Okay, so what happened was a long time ago, and this is in human linear time-space terms. There was a creator just like you, not a separate god, just a god just like you, came up with an idea and they went, oh, I am going to, which is what you do when you're outside the game and you come up with some kind of creation, is you go, like an artist, you go, oh, that's a really cool idea. I think I'm going to do that. So, using linear time-space terms, this creator up here, okay, that doesn't work. I'm going to have to get some more of these. Looks like dogs have chewed on them and they've gone bad. Okay, there's a creator up here. This may go better this way. Are we still there? Mm-hmm. Okay. There's a creator up here, and he said, okay, I'm going to take this particular area of the all that is, a little tiny part of it, and this creator up here, oh, man, pause, technical issues. Do you want me to actually pause? No. no. Okay, I got one. All right. That one's no good. Okay, here's the creator who came up with this idea of this creation, and he took over, went to an area of the all that is and says, okay, I'm going to take this area of the all that is. Here's the all that is right here, little microscopic view. And let's say the creator took that part of the all that is right here. Now this part of the all that is is now down here. And he went, oh, okay, new idea. What we're going to do is we're going to divide this all that is area that I've got. that has every vibration imaginable. And I'm going to arbitrarily divide it into two parts. Part here, part here, half and half. So this circle is now in half. This is the yin-yang that you people have all seen. Where this is dark and that's light. So this little area of the all that is by the creator is now divided into two sides. What some people think of as yin-yang, what some people think of as good-bad, what some people think of as light-dark. In reality, it is simply a part of the all that is. Creator said, arbitrarily, going to divide this into two sides of vibrations. All sides of this vibrations all together is a culmination of all vibrations in the all that is. So this happened first, and that is what created what I would know as duality. Neither side better than the other, all together a part of the, all the vibrations in the all that is, but divided in half arbitrarily to create this dualistic creation okay now fast forward a lot a lot this is the whole area 
Now what happened eventually, all the way down here, and that's, there's a lot happened between this and what we are going to call 4D, which is what aliens are in. This is where 4D, my 4D, my 4D, my understanding of 4D, after dying and coming back and giving it an arbitrary number of 4, even though there's no distinction on the other side, there's not a gate that says, open here and you go into 4D, close, open here and you go into 3D, open here and you go to 5D. It's not like that. It's a very gradual change of these frequencies that are in here that create that all that is. Now, remember, 4D is within this circle. This circle is within the all that is is everything us everything that's ever been okay that's this is here and within this now now take a small circle with the dualistic the light and the dark small circle is now within this circle is now 4d 4d is within this very tiny dot within this okay now here's 4D. Now we've got another circle that's divided into duality, light and dark, good, bad, whatever you want to call it, that is within this circle. So now 4D circle within duality circle that the, this creator pulled out, circle, and this is within the all that is. Hopefully you're sticking with me on this. All right, now within 4D is another circle, another tiny circle within 4D. Now we go to 3D. Now originally 3D was a simple planet. One planet, one planet that was also divided into the yin-yang dualistic energies are all in this because that's what the original creator started all of this based on. Splitting everything in half, creating duality. All the way down here on 3D Earth in a human skin suit, this duality is mostly translated as good and bad. Simply because that's the way your emotions translate it in the skin suit. But all of that is simply a game because all of these vibrations up here are simply an arbitrary division of the all that is vibrations. Okay, so now we're here and this is where duality is. This is where you people are sitting, what you think you are, in 3D. Now this is Gaia. And Gaia said, okay, I'll come and I'll do, I'll come into your game. Really, she came in all the way up here. And she came all the way down through this whole process that took more time that you can even wrap what would feel like to you infinity and beyond. Infinity and beyond. That would be in a good movie. Children's movie. Okay, so she came up here and went all the way down into 3D, agreed to be this planet so that other gods over here, in the all it is, here's other creators, just like you, just like this guy right here. And these other creators in the all it is watched this happening. And what happens with all games is creators running around over here, look at other games, or this creator said, hey, check this out. Look what I've got going. And these creators can come and pop in at any time along this creation. What Starseeds did Gaia was one of them, and you can come in and be a universe, you can be a whole dimension if you wanted to be, you could be a microscopic bug, you can be a cell, you can be whatever you want to be over here, you can come over here and experience anything in the game. You can pop in, pop out, you can stay in, go down, go up, do whatever you want, anything you want to do. You are a god. Everything in here is a part of the all that is therefore it is God's everything is God's Adam is God just like you you are God just like Jehovah is all right now Gaia agreed to do this but now time's up and she's done so she's in the duality game and so she is heading back up 
and you are riding on her. So right now, Gaia is in the fourth, well, she's really further up here. She's got a little part of her that's in fourth dimension and a good portion of her that's already in 5D and a lot of human beings, creator gods from here, might have come in through 4D. They might have come in all the way up here and have been riding this wave all the way down here. Okay? And now everybody's riding up here. Now, even though Gaia is sitting in 4D and good portion of her in 5D, there are beings on this planet, human form, all humans, all the plants are doing, animals are all doing this. Minerals, elementals, everything, they're right with Gaia. But there can be human beings on this planet who are in 4D, most of them are in 4D. Some of them will pop to 5D occasionally, very, very, very short, like split seconds. And then there are others that will pop back down to 3D for split seconds. All right? Okay, so back to the question at hand. Gaia is now here in 4D and 5D. The questions that I get is, if I'm a starseed, what alien am I? Well, aliens are in 4D, guys, right here. Earth, tiny little dot, 4D dropped. All the aliens in 4D. Not only the aliens, but this is like level. So there's some reptilians that are like low 4d then there are some like angels that are mostly in mid 4d uh pleiadians arturians all of those guys are in 4d they're in this section which is a small circle of the original dualistic split that the creator did from this tiny dot Okay? Jehovah's here in 4D. Uh, Satan's here. Well, actually, Lucifer. Lucifer. No, no. Satan's here in 4D. So, you're coming out of 3D. And now I'm talking to starseeds. Starseeds, you came from here all the way. You didn't go through any of this, most of you. You went from here right to 3D Earth because you're helping Gaia come back out. You didn't come for this game, this other game, but most humans did. Any long-term humans, mid-range humans, short-term humans, they came for the game, the dualistic game. You did not come for the dualistic game. You came to help Gaia go from here to where she is here and beyond. So you came from over here in the all that is. This is outside of this game. This is the dualistic game. You came from outside of this game. So you came from over here. You did not come. Now, some of you might have come down and, and touched on Pleiades or Ar Arturian or whatever all these names are that they talk about. But it would have been very fleeting. It would have been, you would have touched on it and then dropped down to 4, 3D. Anybody can come in, help, but it would have been fast. It would have been wicked fast. Because the point was to get here to help Gaia go up. Okay? So, as a general rule, when I say you're a starseed, you did not come from 4D at all. You came from the all that is. So when you ask, what were you before, I'm going to say things like this. I, over here, Naya, over here, outside the game. I came from over here. I've never lived within the game before. I don't like this game. It is not my gig. Nothing's wrong with it. I just don't like it. So over here, I am an energy being. I very seldom get in physical form at all, and when I am in physical form, what I look like would be very much like a wispy, might be a, a, like a star that would fly around, or like you would maybe look at a fairy, or uh, it might be a globe, globe of light, or I might be kind of a wispy, ghost-like being, 
that is me in physical form. Me in energy form, which is the majority of my time, uh, you couldn't even fathom what I like to hang out as. Now, I'll use Sandy standing next to me as another suggestion, I mean, ex example. Yeah. Okay, so Sandy in the all that is, is another kind of energy being, but her, my energy would be like a giant cloud of energy, and by cloud, by giant cloud, uh, think of it more like the size of a universe. That is the entity that I like to hang out as. Sandy is an energy being on the other side, M more fond of physicality than me, but more like, think of her as being like the central sun, where you can physically see her, more stable, but still moving and very powerful. That is the energy being that she is out here. Now that may sound really, really big and awesome to you from here, but when you're over here, who I am and who she is, is the norm. We don't think anything about it. Now, from a human standpoint, it goes, oh, you're that big? Yeah, but that big is not that big a, a deal over here. So, all star seeds, you, your normal state, here, I'll give you another star seed, Steph. Steph and Michelle. For those of you who don't know Michelle, well, Steph is my daughter. Michelle is, uh, well, right on the border of Florida. She spends the majority, Michelle spends the majority of her day playing with 5D beings. She can see them, she can smell them, she can interact with them, and that's what she does on the planet, and she's done it for a very long time. Steph, my daughter, also interacts with all kinds of magical creatures, but she also operates fairly good on this dense planet in 3D and 4D. She, these two over here enjoy visiting games that have more physicality. But over here, outside of this low, dense duality game, they average the most games that are in physical are much more magical. Think of it as being magical. You can change what you look like, you can fly, colors change, nothing is like this, and everything is very movable. That's the normal physical game over here. This game that this creator created is extremely dense. It's extremely slow. And the point of that was to get to these low densities, that's why we had to use linear time space, because it's so dense that you can't really operate within it. You can't have the experience of duality unless you lay it out and put it in a linear time frame so that you could do it moment by moment, one right after the other. So what these guys want to do, long-term humans, is they really want to check this thick density out in every way they can, every minute detail of what can happen here. Okay? How was that? You're done. Okay. That's it for me, guys. See if you can understand that. If you have any questions, put them below. If you have any other questions, please put them below. Because the only way I know what kind of video to do is if you don't just say I love you, but tell me what your questions are. There is no stupid question. So ask me the questions. Nobody knows who you are anyway. Okay? Love you bunches. Huge hugs. See you later.